Hello everyone, I'm the Shrouded Wolf, and welcome back. <laughs> I missed you. Now what you're watching is my favourite game for the month. This is the one which really stood out. Even out of all the recordings, this is my favourite one, so enjoy that. And, while you're watching that, for your pleasure, we're going to be... Oh, I'm going to be talking about what you should be using after the April update. Now... The two exotics you need to be looking out for, and the two exotics you need to actually get some practice in and actually start using in the Crucible, are both the Red Death, which I'll tell you why in a sec, and the Hawk Moon. Now, as a hand cannon man I am, I'm going to tell you about the Hawk Moon first. They're going to be boosting both range and accuracy, uh, and for hand cannons, they're going to be increasing the amount of reserve ammo. This means that this thing is going to is it's going to be good old days when it comes to the Hawkman. Except for the lack of Mega Shot, which used to be there. <laughs> yeah, the Hawkman is definitely something you need to be using if you want to be doing well in both trials and crucible, furthermore. Now on to the Red Death. Now, if no if you haven't been using the Red Death, go go now. Go and get it. Upgrade it and use it. Right, because Red Death is value upon value. Every time you, what this gun does, is every time you get a kill, it starts regenerating health immediately. <laughs> this can be very useful in trials. It's far better in Crucible and on some of those more hefty nightfalls. It well, it's essentially it's like you're in God mode as long as you're getting kills. Now, the reason why you should be using it now after the update comes down is because they're increasing the damage to all pulse rifles, right? Now, the main problem with the Red Death, is, well, particularly of the last portion of uh, Destiny's stint, has been that it has been slightly underpowered. Every time I've been in Crucible, it's always felt like, oh, you know, just one more bullet I would have been able to finish him off, just if there was one more in that burst. And now, because of this moderate, fairly moderate increase, which is going to be put onto all pulse rifles, this is going to make it very, very useful and powerful, uh, in both in Trials, Crucible, and as I said before, Nightfall. So you want to be getting it, you want to be using it and familiarizing yourself with it very soon, uh, like now. So go do that. See, now that I've said that about the Red Death and the old Pulse Rifles are going to get that damage boost. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to go get the bad juju as well. It's, it's not a gun, which I like. I, I very rarely can stand using it, but with that damage boost, that's going to mitigate quite a lot of the stuff I don't like about it, and particularly that you're going to have the added advantage of having a super boost up and that with every precision kills, and precision kills are easy to get with it, uh, and you get them refunded. Yeah, you, I, I've changed my mind. You're going to have to go for all three. You're going to have to go for Red Death, Bad Juju, and Hawk Moon. <laughs> yeah. Thorn Year 2. That you thought I forgot. Well, why should we have one? Number one, it feels great to fire. You can't really say that about many of the guns. I mean, there are a couple, particularly like my god roll scout rifle. <laughs> but for a handgun, the gun feels fantastic to fire. Number two, it is one of the best looking guns in the game. And, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it is the best looking gun in the game. Number three, it requires you to think strategically to use it effectively. I mean, you know, I'm not going to pop this guy over at the right-hand side even though there's a guy really close to me because he's low on health and possibly could get the kill after I die. Or am I going to, you know, spread my shots over two or three characters, you know, to help the team out, you know, ensure that the shields can't go back up. I mean, you know, it's strategy. I like that a gun gives me that option. But the question we need to ask is why don't people want a year two version? It's not because of how it handles, it's not because of the initial damage it does, it's because of poison that's the most irritating part of the thorn. Uh, but I would argue that poison attacks are something that every class can do. The hunter has one, the warlock has one, even the titan has one. So being poisoned is not uncommon. <laughs> and I know, they don't have a poison, warlock or titan, but they have a fire damage, you know, a damage over time. That is what poison does, it gives you damage over time. 
They've got it. Ooh, good song. So, then you have to put down the argument, well, it's an exotic hand cannon. It's supposed to do something that no other gun can do. This one poisons, the red death gives health, the bad juju gives super. Patience and time lets you go invisible. Yes, it may be annoying to be killed by it, but that's the beauty of it. Destiny, isn't it? That you can have guns. You can choose to put yourself at a disadvantage in one sense in order to have an advantage in the way which you can play, the way which you want to enjoy playing. And everyone can do it. It's, it's not too difficult to do. You give yourself three to four matches with this thing, that's you got it cold. So, from Destiny to a channel update. Oh my god, I've only had four videos up. One of which got done with copyright and I'm going to do a channel update. Okay, update number one. One of the videos was copyrighted. <laughs> so that being said, anyway, uh, I'm going to be starting uh, uploading far more frequently than I have. Because uh, my pattern seems to be at the moment at least once every month. But it's taken three mics... Uh, four weeks and probably about 100 hours of commentary in order to make this one video, but uh, I'm starting to get into a decent pan, so there's going to be more f more frequent videos coming out soon. Now one of the ones which I know is my next one is going to be a uh, Star Wars versus analysis of one of the films, uh, and then that's going to lead into something which is I, I think it's kind of like framework or the basic laying of foundation for the thing which has really annoyed me about The Force Awakens. Yeah, that's going to be there. Th that might actually fly into a couple of other videos, but I don't know how far I'm going to go with that. And I've got some interesting stuff which is also if, yet on paper. That'll also be coming up. So, nice, sweet, short, all good stuff. And now I'm probably just going to give you a little bit of commentary for the rest of the video because it's got an awesome ending. Right, right here you're going to see me, uh, yeah, that's right, camping, oh yeah. Right, there's a guy which, unfortunately in the commentary, for whatever reason, didn't actually uh, record, but Philly and Captain, which are the two people I was playing with, uh, started getting killed by some guy who uh, had quite a bad amount of a lag. So uh, they started realising that this guy spawning over at the right hand side, like near the bottom of the stairs or somewhere over there, and he keeps going in the exact same direction. So I'm hanging around and waiting for him. Uh, and there he is. Oh god, you've got a little shoot a lag in the head. And I'm about to uh, start rock. This is where it starts getting good. Uh, Yeah, that's the second guy, <laughs> and uh... God, I love watching this. Right, anyway, so it's there, and headshot- God, I love this gun! Do you know what, if they ever change the scout rifles, I I'm stopping. <laughs> well, if they change my scout rifle, oh, and a double headshot! And uh, this is where I, I, I figure out, I aim down sights and I go, oh wait, 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 oh wait, people are coming behind me, and then, pow, I get the guy. <laughs> and I'm paranoid, right, because I saw a big red blob, and it was only him, right, I was like, oh, they're going to come down. So, uh, right, I run off, and uh, it's right at the end, I know, I was like, oh, come on, I've got to get one more kill, because I'm, I'm like 50 points behind, come on, and the, what do I pick? I pick a sun, <laughs> sun rising, <laughs> it's like, oh, come on, <laughs> and I get him, it's like, yes, and victory tune. And then I go to stab this lightning guy. <laughs> awesome.